Hello and welcome to the YouTube channel of mprugs.com. My name is Mike. I'm the moderator in the series of videos that is all about not just Persian rugs, but handmade carpets from around the world. We hope you and your family are doing well and are having a great day. And I welcome you to our channel. In today's episode, I want to introduce you to a particular type of Turkish silk rug and show you three different qualities of the same type of a very popular but sometimes a little bit misunderstood and also misrepresented type of a silk Turkish rug. And we're going to start out with a rug that is approximately right about 600,000, um, this one has about 600,000 knots per square inch. It's an 8.8 quality and the same type of rug. And these are Turkish China rugs that are oftentimes also sold as Herike, but they're actually, as I'm going to show you when I zoom in on the, um, when I show you the details, these are what is known as chinar. But what is, what really got me excited about doing this video is that we were blessed to be able to obtain a rug that most of you that are into Persian rugs, you may have seen them in pictures, you may have seen them in museums, but the chances of you owning one is extremely, extremely rare. And that is a 2020 chinar rug. This is the highest quality chinar that we have ever been able to privately obtain. We have seen in museums 30, and I believe there's even the existence of a 4040 quality. And for those of you that don't know, with the Turkish rugs, the quality of the rugs are measured by how many knots per centimeter. So here you have, this is a Paziric design. I featured this piece in one of my, this is a very unique, it's the oldest design in a handmade rug that is featured inside a museum. And um, there, if you Google Paziric rug, or there is a link somewhere. Where is the link at? There it is. Um, you're gonna see the link to the video. And you can actually read, um, I'll describe to you the history and everything about it. But what is cool about the Chinar pieces, it has the number written in the bottom, uh, the name Chinar is written in the bottom. But what's cool about the Chinars is that they are not localized to one geographic location. There is not one town, village, or place in Turkey where you can go to and say, I want to go there to buy Chinars. Chinars are actually produced in different places throughout Turkey. And for example, we have an 8-8 quality here. This piece was made in Istanbul. 8-8 um, eight, eight quality, 8 uh, knots per centimeter. So if you stretch it all over a meter, that's 800 knots. 800 times 800, 640,000 knots per meter. So this is what this Pazirik is. Here we have another Chinar Istanbul. This one is a 1010 quality. And you will again, when I show you the close-ups and everything, you're going to see the signature and it's written in a Latin language. So Latin um, letters. It just says China. It's clearly legible. And this piece is a 1010 quality. It's an unusual piece due to it being a runner almost. This is a beautiful thing to put on a table or in the wall as a piece of art. But a 1010 quality means it has 
10 knots per centimeter. Well, that's easy. Well, if it has 10 knots per centimeter, that means it has a thousand knots per meter. Thousand times a thousand, you have one million knots per square meter. And keep in mind, these are done by hand. This is a million, this one is 640,000. Well, this one, and like I said, this is something that you rarely ever get to actually hold in your own hands. This is like a Ferrari. This is like a Bugatti. This is um, the, one of those, what I call the Holy Grail type of rugs. Here you have a tree of life with a beautiful sunset background. But this one is a 2020 quality over one centimeter, as I will show you when I get um, behind the camera. Or, take a look at the picture, over one centimeter, you have 20 knots. And to give you an idea, imagine a weaver, not just having to use a magnifying glass. In the old days, they had two ways of doing it. One was they would weave the rug underneath a magnifying glass, because remember, the threads, the threads are as thin, as fine as a human hair. And yet, it's pure silk, so it's a very durable thing, but imagine, 20 knots per centimeter. There is a human being that wove, I mean, these rugs were made two knots over one millimeter. This is how incredibly fine this awesome rug is. I had a similar piece that was sold to a collector not too long ago. But just to give you an idea, that's 4 million knots per square meter. 4 million over one square meter. This is why these pieces are typically very small and very expensive. You are looking at a rug. This one is roughly 35 by 50 centimeters. So you're looking at about one fifth to one sixth of a square meter. You're wondering about the price? Well, you're looking at, you can buy yourself a car with how much money this rug costs. These are extremely fine. I know I've said it a bunch of times. But what is also beautiful about these pieces is because I can share with you something. If you look at the signature, it says China Herike. And when I get behind it, you'll actually see it. These are, like I said, this piece is about 20 years old. We purchased it from a collector. And these are extremely thought after pieces with those that are very knowledgeable. Just like, uh, for example, there are some people who will pay top dollar for very specific Rolex watches. Well, the same type of people are also into these types of extremely rare and fine types of handmade rugs, whether it's Persian, whether it's Turkish, it doesn't matter where it is. This is really art. We are no longer looking at a Persian rug or a Turkish rug in this case. We're looking at really a piece of art. But what I wanted to show you is because the China rugs are not known for being, uh, the China rugs are amongst the Turkish silk rugs. You have the word herike, which is extremely 
popular. It is probably the most common type of name that is used when you talk about the Turkish silk rugs. You have the word herike. You have the word uh, ozipek, for example. Those are very common names, and people when they when you know when you talk about whether it's Khanchali, whether it is an Aussie pack, whether it is J and K workshop, for the people that know about the Turkish rugs, those words mean something. The Chinars are known for being on the lower end of the silk rugs in Turkey. But just because all three are Chinas, just because you see the word China, you will at times find the diamond in the rough. And here is an example. So we have two pieces right here. We have the runner and we have the Paziric piece that are what is known as Chinar Istanbul. These are woven by workshops near the Istanbul area, and then they are sold in the markets and the workshops in Istanbul. And they are some of the, even still today, when you, the few workshops in Turkey that are actually still making rugs, this piece right here, perfectly normal. This is, the chinars are very common and you will find them. But they're also, again, copied. So just because it says China, don't take it for granted that it's made in Turkey. It could also still be made in China. Although with the Chinas, um, fortunately, the amount of what I call fraud, that's my personal opinion about it, um, is not as common as with the Herike name and word. But you have, sometimes we have other pieces that unfortunately it's not with me at the moment that where it actually says China Istanbul. Um, and these are what these two are. Then if you look at this piece, the extremely fine art piece, you will see that it says China Herike. But as is always the case, when they write it in Turkish, it actually upside down, as, uh, as you can see in a minute when I get behind the camera. So I thought I'd introduce you to the Turkish China rugs. It is a subgroup of what is uh, generally referred to as the Herike rugs. But I thought I'd show you an evolution how we can go from 640,000 knots per square meter, 8.8 quality, to 1 million knots per square meter a 1010 quality, and then, of course, here we have the 2020. So I'm going to go do what I always do. I'm going to get behind the camera now, show you some of the close-ups, and then I'm going to come back to you at the end and say my quick goodbyes. So here we are. As always, I like to do a segment where I can zoom in, just hold the camera in my hand and uh, feature... Uh, show you some of the features of the individual rugs. And now in the case of the Paziric, I'm not going to focus a whole lot of time on it. I just wanted to show you the Chinar signature. Again, the link to the Paziric rug, uh, being that it has a lot of historical value. For those of you that are into the history of Persian rugs, like I said, this is the oldest known design um, feel free to uh, hit the link. Uh, if you look at the link below, I had it also in my video. And like I said, just want to show you the signature. Here you had the 8.8 quality. Then here is the 10.10 quality. And as I mentioned to you, um, the 10.10 quality basically means you have 10 knots per centimeter. And let me just zoom in on this. There you go. And I'm just going to swing the camera around so that you can see it. I mean, it's an extremely, extremely fine piece to begin with. But to show you, this is my finger. You can see the 1010 quality. 
Now I'm just going to take my finger across to the 2020 and I'm just going to flip it over and then you'll see what I'm talking about. Take a look at the nuts. This is what a 2020 quality looks like. So you have twice as many nuts over the length of a centimeter. One centimeter, 20 nuts. And I cannot say this often enough. The detailing on these types of silk uh, handmade rugs is on another level. This is something that you typically will only find in museums and art galleries. Um, this is not something that is generally referred to as, you know, as an average rug. And as is always the case, upside down signature on the Turkish Herike rugs. And this is also something that's, um, it's contrary to the Persian, the pure silk gom rugs. The Herike rugs are woven light side up. The Persian gom rugs light side down. So with the Turkish rugs, you're actually looking at it from the light side. And in my opinion, that is the better way of looking at it. But the sheer detail is just absolutely phenomenal. This is the equivalence, like I said, this is like one of the finest Rolex watches. This is at the same level as a Bugatti, as a type of product, a car, a watch, or a painting that you typically do not see or rarely ever in your life would you ever get a chance to actually hold it in your hands and see it in person. So, um, like I said, the link to load, uh, the link to this rug is below. Um, like I said, this is the type of rug that, like I said, for the rug fans, I cannot talk about it enough. You know what it is and how special it is. Again, but, um, and this was all about to show you that yes, the China rugs are, the China weavers are capable of making not just the standard quality 8-8 silk and the 10-10 silk, but we're also proud to be able to show you that the China weavers can really kick it up a notch and just produce absolute art pieces. So, just wanted to show you some of the close-ups and now I'm going to come back to you and say my final goodbyes. So I hope you liked the video about the Turkish China rugs. As always, if you like our channel, it's all about handmade rugs. If you enjoy it or if you, you know, feel free to hit that subscribe button. If you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments section. Also email us or visit us at mprugs.com. Um, the links to the rugs, as I always do, they are below, as well as other useful information that you may have, um, that you may like to know about. So on behalf of myself, my family, we wish you the very best and we'll look forward to coming back to you with many more videos to come. Best wishes and take care. Bye-bye.